All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving our praise, honor, and glory. Duty Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. I'd like to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully elect. And, you know, today I'm just going to go to a quick lesson, you know, on the mark of the beast. You know, I'm going to entitle it, you know, plain and simple. So, you know, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and straight to the point. And, you know, I'm sitting in my car right now. So, you know, you hear the rain. So let's just get right into it, man. I don't want to make this one too long, but this this is the time we're in, man. This is the time that we're in. Neuralink starts with a surgeon drilling a hole in your head about the size of a coin. Then a robotic arm carefully inserts the ultra-thin, flexible threads into your brain. These threads are finer than a strand of hair and are equipped with electrodes that directly interact with the cells in your brain. This implant is capable of interpreting your thoughts and applying them to real-life actions. Neuralink starts with a... And as you can see, you know, that was just a quick clip on pretty much how, you know, the Neuralink is implanted into a person's head, man. And it's, it, it really doesn't get any plainer than that, man. Like, they're telling you exactly what they're trying to do, you know. Like, this, this, is, this is what the Mark of the Beast is, man. And here's another one, just, just plain and simple. A doctor inserts the microchip between your thumb and index finger using a device similar to a syringe. Now these chips can actually be really helpful tools and they utilize the same technology used in phone payments. With this tiny device, your body essentially becomes a contactless key. It can open doors using sensors and can even start a car. They last anywhere from 10 to 20 years and can be removed with a small incision in the skin a doctor inserts them and they're they're telling you man the mark of the beast is that device that is going to go in people's hands and in people's heads man both of those clips alone just showed you exactly how and where they're going to be implanted man you know the neural link is going to go in people's heads you know and you clearly see, you know, they, they drilled and removed a piece of that person's skull, even though it was, you know, a digital illustration still, man. That is what they're doing to people now because they have already started human trials on, you know, the Neuralink. And, you know, people, you know, there's various people around the world. There are certain countries where people already have it. You know, they did, you know, a chipping party out in Wisconsin. I think it was in, what, 2017, 2018, something like that. A particular company, you know, had their employees get chipped, you know. And there is some guy out here in Michigan that has one, you know, just to start his Tesla, which he, him him and his Tesla are going to be burned, you know. And then, you know, the, the, the famous woman on TikTok, you know, Chip Girl, she has, you know, many multiple you know in her so this is it, it, it doesn't get any plainer than that man it's plain and simple for those that say the market of beast is anything other than the rfid micro chip man they're they're lying they're either ignoring you know what it actually is or they're you know willingly willingly you know ignorant you know, and don't want to accept what it is, man, because, again, they're, they're telling you this is how you're going to be able to buy and sell, you know, in the world to come. So just play this one real quick. You know. Now, I didn't see this in Whole Food for probably about eight months now, and we're going to keep acting like we don't see it until it comes. Pay with your palm. Get started. And right now they just putting it in y'all faces to get y'all prepared when they start putting chips in y'all and marking y'all up and then the only way we'll be able to pay is through putting chips in our bodies and and, and paying and scanning and, and okay y'all be trying to act like y'all don't see stuff they put it right in our face and then when it happened y'all gonna be like oh my gosh i can't believe it hmm all right act like y'all ain't paying attention and i don't want to assume she's uh, you know, a sister, I'm pretty sure she knows she's an Israelite, but, you know, that's neither here nor there at this particular moment. But, 
you know, her eyes are open. Her, she, she, she sees what the mark of the beast is and what's happening. You know, as we know about Amazon One, you know, various places you can go, you know, like grocery stores, you will be able to go and pay for your items with your hand. You know, they're pretty much, you know, what's the word, you know, I'm looking for is it's gradualism, man. You know, they're gradually getting people comfortable with paying for everything electronically. I know, you know, I myself personally, you know, I tend to find myself paying for items, you know, with my phone a lot, which, you know, if I had, you know, more cash on hand, then, you know, I would use cash. But, you know, in most cases, you know, most of the things I pay for are done electronically, man. You know, certain things we just can't get around, you know, but. The fact being is that, you know, that is the time that we're in, man, where the mark of the beast is going to be implemented, man, and it's going to be made mandatory. And that's what it is. The mark of the beast is not sin. It's not sleeping with white women. It's not an embargo. It's, it's not anything other than the device that was shown in those two clips, man, the Neuralink and that grain of rice that is going to be implanted in people's hands, man. So, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, and I'm going to start at verse 15. And it says, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as will not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So, yeah, man, you're going to have, you know, certain people that aren't going to get it, you know. As far as dealing with the Israelites, you know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, there's only going to be a remnant, you know. That is going to reject this man's mark, you know, and ultimately, you know, be delivered from it. You know, you may also have, you know, certain people, you know, that either are Israelites or not Israelites that aren't going to get it either. But, you know, they're still going to be, you know, destroyed on this side, you know. And that's what Esau is going to want to do, you know, for those that don't, you know, receive his his device. He's going to want to take them out, you know. So just real quick while I'm on that topic, man, you know, because, again, as far as dealing with, you know, some of the elect that don't get it, man, you know, they're going to be beheaded. But again, they're going to be risen up, you know. So just real quick, jump into the book of Revelation, chapter 20 and verse four. And it says, and I saw thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of Yahweh. And which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years. So, yeah, man, you know, the, there's really only a remnant of the nation of Israel that is going to deny this man's mark, man. You know, for those the other, you know, heathen nations and even some of our people that aren't in the truth that don't get it. You know, they're, they're still going to be destroyed, man, because that's ultimately going to be america's judgment man fire by way of icbm missiles you know but jumping back to chapter 13 this is revelation chapter 13 and verse 16 and he causeth all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score and six. And yeah, man, you know, the point being is that in in the in the time to come, you know, which hopefully is soon, you know, they're going to crash, you know, the US dollar. Because right now it still holds some value, even though the dollar right now is weak, certain places you go, certain countries you go, you know, it's still valuable. You know, but there's going to come a time where, you know, the elite, you know, the bankers, they're going to purposely crash the dollar, you know, to introduce, you know, this device to people in order to pretty much, you know, get them to submit because that's going to be part of, you know, the dollar crash. You know, the system as a whole collapsing, man, because once America's economy goes down as a whole, man, the world economy is going to go down, man. You know, because these other countries, you know, these other, you know, world leaders, they're in league with this program as well, man. You know, they're going to introduce this to, you know, whatever respective country that they're in, you know. But primarily here in America, this is what's going to go down, man. 
they're, you know, all hell is going to break loose. You know, there's going to be a famine, you know, and that's part of the reason people are going to get that device, man, because they're going to be starved into submission. You know, they're going to want to eat, you know, so they're going to trust in this man. They're going to trust in oppression instead of trusting in the Lord, man. And ultimately, you know, that's that's going to lead to their destruction. And then, you know, that's the ultimate penalty, you know, for receiving the mark of the beast, because the mark of the beast itself, as you know, the apostles have said, the mark of the beast itself is not a sin, but it's a sin to take it, man. You know, and you have certain guys that are leaders of these other Israelite groups that are pretty much, you know, misleading their congregation into believing that the mark of the beast is something else other than this device you know it doesn't get any planted in that man they're telling you what it is they're setting up these various systems man this is why they're trying to you know come up with 15 minute cities or smart cities if you will you know where you will only have to travel 15 minutes to go to wherever you know to get whatever ultimately it's just like you know what alex jones said in this interview with and Russo, man, it's total control. You know, that's what it's all about, man. You know, the elites, they want to be like the most high. But what people don't realize is that once they get this device, you know, they're they're going to get, you know, a sore. So this is the book of Revelation, chapter 16 and verse 2. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshipped his image. And yeah, man, pretty much again that, <clears throat> excuse me, Slakia, pretty much, you know, that, that grievous sore is ultimately going to be cancer, man, because these devices are going to be emitting radiation, you know, especially for the people that have multiple, man. You know, that's ultimately what it is. We're just going to look up that word sore real quick. And is this Strong's G 1668? And it says, Helcos says a wound, a wound producing a discharge pus a sore and ulcer so ultimately is going to be you know cancer that these people are going to get man you know because they're telling you this 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 thing this is this is what it is man and the word mark in the book of revelation chapter 13 and verse 16 will be karakma you know it's not the same mark as in ezekiel chapter 9 you know that mark is, you know, the Thawa, which is, you know, the mark of exemption, which the elect are going to have, man. You know, so this is Strong G 5480 says Karagma says a stamp and imprinted mark, you know, and then pretty much, you know, it, it went off with the first definition. But, you know, the second definition, it says thing carved sculpture, graven work. So a thing carved, man. So what did it show you in that clip, man? It showed you, you know, a person's head being cut open <laughs> and having that device placed right there. You know, it showed you that device It's like it, it showed you pretty much. Yeah, the, the device that is going to be used to implant that chip, you know, which is that syringe, man, which is, you know, a, a palisade. So what you're going to look up right quick look it up where trench so this is the word trench and the blue letter is strong G 5482 and it says Karak's what does it say? A pale or a stake, a palisade. So, you know, there's like if you're setting up a tent, you know, out in the woods, you know what you have. You have a stake, you know, to plant the ground to keep, 
you know, the tent from flying away. Well, that that stake, you know, or that pail, you know, is what that that is that syringe, man. So let's go back. Let's look at it. You see it. You see it. That's that 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 palisade, man. That's that pail. Because people are going to be impaled with this thing. It shows you it's going to be implanted in people's hands and foreheads, man. You know, that's the time that we're in. So I'm going to grab the book of Isaiah chapter 36 and verse 6. And it says, Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt, whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to all that trust in him. And yeah, that's ultimately what a lot of these people are going to do, man. They're going to trust in Esau. They're going to trust in his system, man, because they're going to want to, you know, survive. Because remember, all hell is going to break loose, man. We're going to be in the midst of Jacob's trouble, you know. And this is what these people are going to do, man. They're going to want to save their lives, man. So I'm just going to grab that scripture real quick, man. So this is the book of Mark, chapter eight and verse thirty five says, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the next like yeah, the same shall save it. So, yeah, man, those that try to save their lives are ultimately going to die. And those that lose their lives, man, you know, they're going to be saved. You know, that's, and that doesn't necessarily mean that every, you know, elect member is going to be killed you know you have certain that are going to be beheaded you know but again they're going to be risen up once our lord yahweh shai comes back man but ultimately those we that we that we lose we pretty much have lost our lives now we've pretty much disassociated with this system you know we're still a part of it. we still have to work and you know do our day-to-day -day. but ultimately you know we're, we're dead to this world man we understand what's coming we know the time that we're in man so, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, I'd like to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully elect. Till the next time I say Shalom.